hello guys welcome to my channel rk gate tutorials and to the class fifth so in the previous class we have studied the consequences and the analysis of the short circuit faults in the transmission line now in this class fifth uh, we will discuss most important topic that is the configuration of relay and circuit breaker or the relay circuit breaker configuration so before that i would like to analyze the two faults once again a little a small glance uh, about the previous classes so uh, this is a transmission see, this is a complete power system so here uh, the synchronous generator is driven by prime mover which produces mechanical power and uh, which is uh, driven with the mechanical power and produces electrical power so that is been stepped down by the step uh, step down transformer and transmitted through the transmission network and uh, stepped down back again so it was first stepped up and it is stepped down here and it is distributed to the utility load so this is what happens and uh, uh, there are faults may take place so we are talking about the mostly transmission line faults so the fault may exist here so this may be the two faults that is uh, open circuit faults or short circuit faults so let us take here short circuit faults and here open circuit faults so what happens due to the short circuit fault short circuit faults results in over currents what happens to the open circuit faults it results in over voltages due to which the insulation of the conductor may damage and due to which the heavy currents uh, the equipment gets damaged damage of equipment damage of electrical equipment so what happens due to the damage it is a, it leads to the economic loss economic loss and of course a real time distribution problem so problem the the load which is uh, shut down it is not transmitted to the load so the real time power is stopped and takes maintenance time also real time power is stopped so this is what is the consequence of the short circuit so what we need what we need to do now so when these faults occurs immediately so the fault should be sensed these two faults must be sensed sensed and not only sensed but also it should be isolated the faulty section must be isolated from the healthy one so this is what we need to do when the faults such as short circuit faults and the open circuit faults took place so then who will do the sensing and who will do this uh, isolation that is what is the thing so sensing in the sense here voltages and currents quantities so if they are in the permissible limits then we can say the system is secure and uh, no need of uh, doing the isolation the circuit is clear but when the abnormality comes into picture that means the faults when the faults comes into picture then the values of either v or i may raise enormously so which damages the system so who will take the sensing uh, sensing responsibility and who will take the isolation responsibility so the sensing sensing responsibility has been taken by relays this is very important topic uh, you will subject it to get some questions in the gate as well so sensing has been the responsibility which is taken by the relays and the isolating 
take uh, responsibility is being taken by circuit breakers of course the circuit breakers uh, cannot alone operate so which re which is being uh, adjusted by the relays so the relays will give the trip signal whether to operate the circuit breaker whether to open or close the circuit breaker contact contacts so during the normal condition the circuit breaker actually circuit breaker has two contacts one is a fixed contact and another one is the moving contact so during the normal operating conditions the two contacts are closed and through which the load current flows to the load but when the abnormality comes into picture then what happens the relay senses senses the abnormality and gives the trip signal if there is a fault then it gives the trip signal that there is a problem and which uh, which is being taken by the circuit breaker and this due to the trip signal only the circuit breaker moving contacts moves separate from the fixed contact which means opening of the circuit breaker takes place there is no load that flows to the load there is no power that flows to the load so this is what is the uh, uh, mechanism that happens uh, due to the relay and circuit breaker these two are always coordinated so these two are always in a configuration so let us talk about the relay so first relay you have to make a point that relay is a an electro electromechanical or electro thermal or an electrostatic device which continuously monitors the assigned electrical quantity whether it may be voltage or it may be current which continuously monitors the assigned electrical voltage uh, electrical quantity if at any point of time if at any point of time the assigned quantity is exceeds its set value it is already first set with a limitation so if it crosses its limits and the assigned quantity crosses its limit then it senses and gives the trip signal that isolates then the circuit breaker isolates the faulty signal faulty uh, system from the healthy system so this was the mechanism which happens and that is what is called the relay so purpose of relay is to sense the fault and gives the trip signal to the circuit breaker and through which the circuit breaker operates that's all so this is what is the uh, uh, analysis regarding the relay and circuit breaker coordination so let us go back to the next slide so this is what is an important one so continuation class fifth this one yes what is happening and how it is uh, coordinated so let me draw a line diagram of just a transmission line so here is a bus bar so which is operating with 122 132 kv which is i'm giving the relay circuit breaker coordination so configuration remember this is very important so here a current transformer is connected this is the transmission line so this is the transmission line so this is the circuit as i mean current transformer this is the primary the primary of the current transformer is connected to the line and the secondary is this is the secondary of the current transformer to which a relay coil is connected this is the relay coil so when the current uh, current flows in this uh, circuit in this uh, line then what happens uh, the primary experience the higher currents and the function of ct is to step down the current so it it step down to the secondary it step down the current and that flows into this relay coil so and to this relay coil there is a plunger connected which develops the operating force so th this is already usually connected with the relay contact so this is relay contact relay contact and this coil is relay coil and this is the secondary of the ct this is secondary of ct current transformer and this is of course the primary of 
parent transformer primary of ct so this is the relay contact which moves uh, forward direction and in the backward direction as well so to which uh, this coil due to this uh, excited coil current coming from the secondary of the ct apply some force that force is called operating force f0 and of course it is already uh, set with some restraining force due to spring a spring mechanism will, will be there so it applies a restraining force fr which is in the opposite quite opposite direction to the operating force so now what happens next uh, so nearby this a an another circuit is there with a coil which is to be excited by a dc supply so this is a dc supply this is a coil this coil is called as trip coil and here we have the circuit breaker contact this is a fixed contact this is a fixed contact of circuit breaker and through which uh, the load load pass this is the load to load so this is the trip coil to trip coil the moving contact is connected moving contact is connected so this is called trip coil trip coil and this whole arrangement is called trip circuit this total is called trip circuit so this is the, the inside one is the moving coil so here i am writing moving coil of circuit breaker and uh, the, it moves forward and backward so this is what is the uh, coordination i mean the configuration of relay and circuit breaker circuit breaker relay configuration very important one so this is relay circuit breaker configuration so let me tell you these lines this is a trans since this is a transmission line it is operated uh, the current sign voltage is ratings to be kvs and k k a kv in the sense kilo volts and uh, k a in the sense kilo amps so at that high ranges of ratings the relays are not uh, manufactured it cannot be at that such a uh, high ratings so then what happens this has to be reduced the current has to be the rating of the relays are very less so that has to be that has to be small the va of the the rating nothing but the coil, uh, the relay ratings are always measured in volt amperes this is the relay rating usually measured in volt amps so which is always smaller very smaller than that of the main line then how the small the uh, less quantities has been given to the relay so that is done by the current transformer in yeah this is in instrument transformer instrument transformer are two one is current transformer and the potential transformer pt so uh, the step downing of this i mean making less quantities that is given to the relay has been done by this portion nothing but the current transformer so let us see how the how what mechanism is happening in this uh, configuration let us see this relay and circuit breaker configuration what is happening actually so during the normal condition during the normal operating condition when there is no fault what happens 
actually the circuit breaker and uh, the the circuit breaker completely the fixed contact and the moving contacts are always together means which allows the current to flow through it so when what happens the current flows through it then of course the relay is first set with a set value relay is actually set with a set value so what happens when the current seen by the current transformer is in its limits then it it allows to the secondary so as this current is less than the set value then what happens the operating force developed will be less compared to this restraining force so due to which what happens the relay contact is experience backward force so which means it does not close the trip circuit so the circuit breaker fixed contact and moving contacts are always together so which allows the current to flow through the line and it will be given to the load without any problem now when we experience a short circuit fault here let us see let us analyze with a short circuit fault what happens when the short circuit fault takes place the line experiences short circuit current which is very very high which is very very high so when when the circuit when the current transformer sees over current then what happens the relay side also i mean the secondary of the current transformer also excess current may be flows in this second side of the current transformer there is an excess current flows than the of the normal current which experiences due to which the relay coil experiences more current so the magnetic flux which is been produced by the relay contact is more than that of the normal condition then what happens due to the flux production uh, and current due to the flux and current so as the flux as the force is directly proportional to flux and current so when the flux and the current increases automatically the force is experienced by the uh, plunger this is called plunger actually so the plunger experiences force so that is in this direction so that is nothing but f naught increases so when the f naught increases as being a far constant so when the f naught increases and f naught becomes greater than fr i mean the operating force is greater than that of the restraining force then what happens so this force is becoming more than this one so what happens it moves in the forward direction and it closes the strip circuit so when it closes the trip circuit when it comes in close and contact with the trip circuit what happens there is a closed path so and the dc excites this uh, this trip coil so to which the moving contact is already uh, connected so due to the flow of current there is a flux produced in this and due to the flow of current and flux again the operating force the force will be produced that force so the moving contact has been pulled down by this trip coil so which means the circuit breaker fixed contact and the moving contacts are separated and due to which so let me take here so they are separated then what happens so here an open circuit takes place so the faulty section has been isolated from the healthy section so there is no flow of current in this so this is what happens uh, during the short circuit faults which took place so this is what is the relay circuit breaker configuration so this is very important i hope you understood this so the condition to operate relay is operating force is greater than the restraining force when this operating force is developed is greater than that of the restraining force then the plunger moves i mean the relay contacts closes the strip circuit so due to which the current flows in the relay in the trip coil the trip coil pulls down the 
uh, moving contact of the circuit breaker which opens the line so how to generate this operating force so this operating force is generated by the short circuit fault short circuit current only so this is excess current flowing into the ct so that allows the allows to the secondary side so this current will be more so as this current is more here the flux produced will be more due to the flux and current the operating due to the flux and current the operating force is produced which forwards the relay contact so this is what is happens in this uh, relay and circuit breaker configuration i hope you understand this this is very important topic now here we need to learn about this why we are using this circuit breaker this is what is an important topic so that we see in the next class the instrumental transformer and in this i would like to uh, give a small note that uh, the ct current transformer are always generally rated as are rated as generally rated as x by 1 amp or x by 5 amps that's all so this is the rating of the current transformer make a note of this primary this is the primary and this is the secondary always secondary may be one ampere five amps so to that low value it is uh, it is made actually and when the relay coil uh, rating is not given this is the relay coil when the relay coil rating is not given then we can simply take the secondary of the circuit uh, uh, current transformer the secondary of the current transformer can be simply taken as the uh, relay coil rating so whenever whenever the current seen by this relay whenever the current seen by this relay is less than its set value it is already set just uh, i have already told that it is uh, the relay is already set with some set value so when the current seen by this relay is already less than that set value then the operating force on the relay contact will be less than the restraining force hence the relay won't operate it allows that is the normal condition when the short circuit fault takes place the current through the relay coil increases and the operating force increases when the operating force is greater than the restraining force then the relay will operate and it will isolate the faulty section from the healthy section so this is what is the operation of the relay and circuit breaker configuration so this is what i hope you understood and we will meet in the next class if still anybody is not subscribed please subscribe and in the next class we will see an example also uh, about this ct so how it operates we will see it and I will also explain the instrumental transformer in the next class. Thank you.